Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Steve and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an outline around a figure. So uh, this could be a person or whatever, but that's kind of a trend that a lot of people are seeing and have been seeing for some time. And a student asked me how to do this, so I'm going to show you now. So what you would do is take an image like this and basically turn it into this or this. Or if you want to get neon about it, like my student asked, this. Okay? So we'll start off with a blank original, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's zoom in a little bit here. All right, the first thing you need to do is make a selection of your subject. So my favorite way to do that is with the quick selection tool, which is W on your keyboard. So hit the W key and that should pull up the quick selection tool. And then you left click and drag around your subject to get a selection, a rough selection. And then you may need to zoom in a bit to fix that a little bit. And you can use Alt and drag to subtract from the selection. You could also do this with a more accurate tool, like a pen tool or something, but this is kind of the quick and dirty way. And then you're going to go, and like for hairy subjects, it's a little trickier too. This would be a lot easier for just a human being. And it also helps to focus on getting clean shapes. For instance, around the ears, you're going to want a clean shape, and you'll see why later. But I'm just going to do a quick selection over all this. And if I want, I can just grab like a lasso tool and I can just smooth this up a little bit. So just make it basically like a nice ear shape. You know what I mean? Like that. And you can do a little down here too. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you how to make it a little better in a minute. But I'll just make this as good as we can. Might have gone a little too far into that corner there. There we go. And something like that. Whoops. Okay. That's good for our rough selection. Whoops. Real quick. One more spot down his back. Her back. Okay. So you have a selection. And then what you're going to do is refine your selection a little bit. And this is pretty simple. You go to Select. And you go to Modify. And you go to smooth and mine is already on 10 pixels which is what I used last time but for this one because it's a furry animal and it's a little rougher selection I'm gonna maybe make that a little bit higher but you want to do this smoothing between about 10 and 15 pixels I'm gonna try 20 on this one just to see if I can make it really smooth yeah, I actually like that. It rounded off those ears a little bit, but that's going to be okay, I think. And it really smoothed out this, which is nice because you want, like, again, you want this to be a smooth selection. So once you've done your selection, then you're going to right click on the selection and you're going to say layer via copy. Click that. And then over here, it's going to pop up a new layer for you. And let me just grab this and drag it in so it's easier to see. So what you've done is if I hide the background here you'll see we basically just cut out the image and created a new layer which is awesome in and of itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that layer and we're going to go to blending options. Click on that and it's going to bring up your layer styles dialog box and we're going to go to stroke because what we're doing to create that border around it is is just putting a stroke around the image. So we click on stroke and if you if you just check it it may or may not actually bring up this little dialog box. So you have to actually click on this word so that you get this little dialog box. And then you can see it's actually following my defaults, so it's already done a nice job. But if these are set differently, they're probably going to be set more like this, and your color might be black. So it's probably going to look a bit more like this when you first create it, which is not such a great look. So what you would want to do then is you're going to go to size on your stroke, and you're going to go to about 10. 
And depending on how bold you want this to be, you could go up to like 15. Once you get to like 20, it's getting a little cartoonish maybe. But I would say between 10 and 15 is the right range. And then also this needs to be set to outside because if you do this on the inside, you can see it crunches, it goes from the line inward and it crunches in on your image. So click it to outside and then it goes from the outside of your line out. Covering up the background, not the subject. So you do that, leave the opacity at 100%, blending mode normal, and then you can just change the color if you want. And so black is an option, but you can also just click Get your color picker and you can do any color. Uh, you notice the neon color that I had over there. That's this guy right here. And that was the question that a student asked in my Photoshop class. So this is actually an answer for you. Thanks for asking that question. Um, so there's your neon. You could go bright purple if you wanted to get extra funky. That's kind of fun. But we're going to go kind of the standard is white. And the way you pick white is either way up in this upper left hand corner, or if you want the shortcut, you hit F, 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 F right down here. And that's the hex color for white. So you got white, you click OK. This is all good now, you click OK. And there's your image. I can scroll out a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Now, normally your subject will have a smooth outline, so this won't be a problem, but you can see, well, let's zoom back in again, sorry. You can see some of these stray hairs. So what I would do to clean up that, again, not the end of the world, but it looks a little silly. So I would go onto my background. I would probably actually create a new layer. Just duplicate this layer. Background copy is good. Now I'm working on the copy, so I'm working non-destructively, so I'm not messing up the actual original and I go into the background copy, go to the healing brush tool, or sorry, the spot healing brush tool, grab that, make sure you're selected on the background copy layer, which is underneath this layer. And then you can just go in and go boom, 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 stroke across some of those. And oh, that one's not healing super great, but you get the idea. I'm just cleaning up some of these whiskers here. There we go. And then zoom back out again. You can see it looks better. And then if you wanted to get extra funky, you could actually put a layer in behind this for that black and white version that I showed you. The way you do that is you go down to a new adjustment layer, go to solid color and it'll give you a solid color in the background. And then you, you pick the color, so I think the one I had was black, but that, that blue is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, something funky, and you click OK, and there's your super cool cat. You can also go in and change the stroke color later by clicking here on the stroke, and it'll bring that dialog back, box back up, and you click on the color, Oops, I accidentally clicked twice. And then if I wanted to go to that neon green again, I'd click on that hue and then go up to the nice bright light version of it. And there you've got your neon. I don't know that I like that so much. Maybe something more like purple and blue, orange and blue. I don't know. That's what you can play with. So you've got a lot of options there, and that's by clicking on the stroke there. If you want to go back to your regular background, you just hide this color fill layer like that, and you just have your outlined image. So that's how you do that. I hope you found that helpful. And if you liked the video, please hit like or subscribe for more videos. And if uh, you're not signed up for my Udemy course that covers the entire gamut of beginning to Photoshop mastery, Check that out in the link in the description right below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.